Oh, no. Not that filter. Dude. Okay. Hey, guys. Oh, my God. There's a lot of people in here. Okay. <clears throat> so, I wasn't going to address this situation until Connor and I had communication to talk. So, we could both go live together and talk about it. But he, like, up, like I'm pretty sure he's going to go live probably after he sees this, if he sees this. So, if he's on here, pretty sure he'll go live and address the situation, too. But as you guys all know, uh, some stuff got leaked about me and Connor, and I just wanted to come on live and tell y'all the truth and tell y'all that, like, a lot of people are making this out to be something that it's not and making it to be worse than it seems um, by calling me a groomer and a pedophile and everything. So I just wanted to come on here and let you guys know that I didn't groom Connor, not, like, wouldn't do that to him, literally love Connor to death. I wouldn't do anything to Connor ever without consent connor and i both consented to kissing that was how it went we both liked each other and then we realized that the ages were too different nothing happened between us besides kissing and i have i'm saying that now like i'm really sick of people thinking that we did other stuff besides kiss there's a video going around of people saying that it's me and connor and it's like of these like two people doing something like nasty and that's not us all the videos that were leaked all the videos that were leaked of Connor and I were us kissing and I just wanted to come on live and let you guys know go it hasn't been a thing for a while and give us both time to heal and from social media because social media is very toxic to us right now um and we're both just kind of hurting we're trying to like laugh off the situation because we both like we both realized back then that it was just like not right and that the ages weren't appropriate so we stopped and now the reason why people are coming at me and connor for making jokes about it it's just because we're trying to get over the situation because we actually know what went on and we actually know what happened and i had told like connor's family like straight up that we did before anything was said about it and before videos got leaked so they were already aware of the situation and we were all doing like the situation was going pretty good and then it got brought to social media don't know how the videos got out but we were doing good with the situation like we were moving on from it and just like going separate ways um breaking contact just to move on from it and then the videos got leaked and it became a bigger issue and it became something that it wasn't supposed to be and because social media is so toxic nowadays and because people like to put their little noses into other people's business it makes it worse than it needs to be so i'm here to tell you guys right now that this all was dragged out of proportion and put into something that it was not. People have so many rumors going around saying different things. And it's none of the stuff that people are saying is true. I didn't groom Connor. I wouldn't do that. He's a kid and I'm aware of that. And it just happened. We both were in a dark place when we first like became friends. And we both just ended up catching feelings for each other. And friends do that. They catch feelings for each other. That's not a bad thing. Yes, the, the age is a bad thing. Yes, it's wrong. Yes, it's not good. And we both realized that and we stopped because we didn't want to get this out of proportion. We didn't want this to happen. We knew that it was wrong and we wanted to stop and we did. But because, like I said, it got brought to social media, people are making it such a big issue. I'm not a pedophile. I'm not a pedophile. And I will continue to say that. I don't care what anybody has to say. I'm not a pedophile. I am 19 years old. Yes, I am labeled as an adult, but I am still a teenager. And we all mess up and we all do things that we don't know, but we have to learn from experience. And I know that I'm not the only person that has been put in this position before. And the only reason why I've been put in this position is because of social media making it out to be something that it's not. And it's bothering the both of us because Connor doesn't like people calling me a pedophile. Like, I know he doesn't. Even though I can't talk to him, I know it's hurting him because he knows that I'm not like that. He knows that I'm not a pedophile. And my friends know that I'm not a pedophile. I've talked to everybody about this. I've talked to my friends, my family, his family. And we just want it to stop. We don't want this to be a bigger deal than it is 
it's pathetic and it's not something that we wanted to be on the internet and that's why we didn't tell anyone that's why we kept it to ourselves because we realized it was wrong so i wanted to go live and address the situation and i wanted to let you guys know that i am sorry and i realize that i mess up every fucking week i realize that i realize i'm always doing something wrong but as an influencer and as yeah as an influencer having the platform that i have it is really hard to deal with hate and it is really hard when people are constantly bringing me down for things every single day and i feel like i always just have a pressure on me that's why i took a break because it was getting too toxic and i couldn't handle it anymore and it really hurts me that a bunch of people think that i'm this monster and that i'm a pedophile and that i'm a groomer and stuff i never groomed connor i would never do that i would never do anything without his consent and we didn't do anything besides kiss so i don't know why it's so big and why everybody thinks that other things went on but it didn't and we already had a whole talk about it like with his family and with mine like everything was calmed down and then the videos were leaked and that's really all i can say like i can't i don't have anything to say besides that because that's the truth that's what happened it's not something that I'm proud of. It's not something that he's proud of. It's something that we both learned from. And we are sorry. Like, genuinely. I'm not a monster. And I'm not a pedophile. There's actual pedophiles out in the world. And that's something that I'm not. That's something that I never would be. Never will be. It was my first time ever liking someone catching feelings for someone under the age and it wasn't a good choice and I realized that when it was happening and we talked about it we talked about it to each other sorry I'm like really stressed out and I can't really get my words out straight but I do realize that I upset a lot of you and hurt a lot of you and no matter what I say about this situation people are still going to make up their own opinions and people are well people are still going to have their own opinions and people are going to keep saying things and that's okay like you do you but i just wanted to make it clear that it's not as bad as everybody's making it out to be yes it is bad what happened the situation that happened is bad yes but people are making it out to be something bigger than it is and it's not something that connor and i wanted to be on social media we don't know how it got out there we don't know who did it we just wanted it to stay between us and whoever did leak the videos really shitty but it's okay we're over it and we realized that people are like that so um addressing the other situations that i'm in the other scandals that i have been put into such as with charlie um it's it's not that deep it's just like i want to come on here and say my feelings and tell you guys how i feel but i'll just be attacked for that as well um when the video of me getting leaked um the star of tiktok shit Um, I reached out to Charlie and I apologized to her. I sent her multiple paragraphs after paragraphs apologizing to her and telling her that I'm sorry and that I didn't mean what I said and that I was just mad. And I let all of my anger and emotions get the best of me. And I was left on scene. So I didn't know if she hated me. I didn't know if she didn't... I, I just felt like she didn't like me or that she hated me. So... It wasn't right what I said about her, and I realized that, and I'm sorry. Um, And people have every right to be mad at me for the things that I've done and for the things I said. But right now, and this time, it's just really hard, and I just want it to stop. I I just want all of this nonsense to go away, because it's not worth the fight for any anymore it's just really hard sorry i'm like getting a call and i don't know who it is on my other phone but yeah um i turned off my comments because i don't want to read what people have to say about me anymore um 
I just want it all to go away. And again, I'm sorry to the people that I have hurt. And to the people that I have disappointed. I'm just kind of like lost words. <laughs> I don't really know what else to say. I put the situation out there and all of that, but sorry, my mom's texting me on my MacBook. And I'm trying to. But I am sincerely sorry, like genuinely sorry. And it was a mistake that I will never make again, and it was something that wasn't the best choice in the entire choice in the entire world to make and it was something that bothers me and it was something that bothers me still to this day and I'm, no matter what i say people are going to continue to talk down on me and make me out and i mean that and i realize that i'm not always making the best decisions and that, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm getting text messages from my, my mom. But, yeah. But, it's just really hard right now. And I don't mean to like, I don't want you guys to think that I'm just making excuses because no excuse in the world can justify my actions and what I've done. But, I am sorry again, and I will continue to say that for the rest of the time that I'm on social media because I do feel awful for it, and I wasn't in the right state of mind. I was going through a lot, and I really just wanted to find happiness, and I really just wanted to be happy, and Connor was my best friend, still is, even though we can't talk. He's still my best friend, and... He made me happy in many different ways, and I made him happy in many different ways. We, like, both were really close and caught feelings, and we didn't really understand, like, what was going on. And even though people will say, like, well, you're old enough to realize it's wrong, um, I just wanted to be happy. And it's not an excuse, and I'm not trying to make excuses about it. It's just me telling the truth and how I felt. And I just didn't know what else to say and know what else to do. And a lot of people are, um, a lot of influencers are bashing me for it. And that's okay. Like, you guys have every right to. I'm embarrassed for my actions. And you guys have every right to be upset with me. And you guys have every right to dislike me. And that's okay. Like, I'm, I'll live... <laughs> No matter what. It's just hard to be put on a platform and make people happy every day and try not to mess up and try not to upset people because it happens. You make mistakes and you learn and you live. And I know that I'm not the only person that has been put in this position before and has made the same mistakes and choices as me. And if any other, if there's any people out there that are having a relationship with a minor or doing things that aren't, that shouldn't be done, please realize that it's not right and that it's just gonna bother you in the long run. But, um, a lot of people are coming after me as I replied to a comment on TikTok room saying you can't go to jail for kissing someone. And that's true. I did, I did my research and I was, I've already spoken to police about it because I didn't want to put myself in something that wasn't going to do me good. But yeah, it was already brought to my attention and it was already talked about addressed and everything went good so again I'm sorry 
and there's no excuse in the world for what I did. And people can hate me, but I lost a lot of um, supporters during this time. And like I said before, like, I don't blame you. Like, you do you. Like, support whoever you want to support. Right now, it probably isn't the best time to support me. And if you have a fan page for me still, I love you so much. And I appreciate you for sticking around and being here for me and loving me, even though I continue to mess up. I get canceled every other week, like, <laughs> so I really do appreciate it. Um, but to the people that I have lost, I'm sorry again. And I understand why you left. I get it. I would have too. Um, you're, you should be able to support whoever you want to support. And if you did leave the fandom, I hope your new stand makes you very happy. And I hope that you enjoy editing the new person that you're looking up to. And I'm sorry that I can't be that person anymore to you. But I understand. And I get it. And it's okay. It's been really hard. And I've just been trying to smile through it. Because I made a lot of people upset. And no matter what I say, it's never going to <laughs> fix what I did. So, again, I'm sorry. I, I've said sorry so many times on this live. I'm really trying to become a better person. And I feel like everything that I've been through, I just wanted to find peace and happiness. And I found it in the wrong place. And everything happens for a reason. And... You can't really, like, you can't really, when your heart's telling you something, it just happens. People make mistakes. People make choices that aren't always the best, but we learn from them, and that's how we move on with our lives. And that's how we make things better, by learning from what we've done, and that's what I've done. I learned from what I did. And... I'm not trying to, like, stutter, or I'm not trying to, like, repeat myself. I just, I don't know how else I can say this without people still being upset with me. And you guys have every right to, so I get it. But I just wanted to make it clear that um, I'm going to therapy for it. I'm going to therapy for a lot of things. And... I start therapy this week, so hopefully that helps. And I feel like if I can just talk to someone that's not on social media, I can fix myself and realize what I'm doing right and wrong. But yeah, I wasn't going to address this until Connor and I could go live together so people wouldn't think I was just saying or making shit up. I'm sorry. I really am. I hope you guys had a good Halloween. And um, I hope you guys don't make the same mistakes I did. Have a good night or day, you guys.